Today for Mousetrap Monday, we're going to catch a mouse in the barn with this very old mouse trap that was built to last. It's made out of solid metal, has a kill bar right here with a powerful spring. In the back, there's the arm and a trigger. It's basically like the wooden snap traps, only made out of cast iron. It doesn't have any marks on it, but I know exactly when this trap was made. It was first patented in 1897, and collectors call it the Streeter, after the name of one of the inventors. Now they actually made several sizes, including a larger rat version, and this one, the small mouse version. The way you set it is you pull back the kill bar, fold over the arm, and hook in the trigger. Now the circle is where you put the bait. The mouse will come along, try to get the bait, and when it steps on it, oh, and that has a lot of force. Ow. That is one powerful trap. It looks like it's going to work well. Now we're going to go set this up in the barn, but I do have to be very careful. These traps sell for between $300 and $400 in this condition, and I don't want a pack rat stealing it. That's happened to me before, so instead I have my mouse trap box. We'll lift up the lid. We'll place the trap in back. That way only a mouse can get in there. The squirrels and rats can't. Also, this keeps me out of trouble with YouTube. So let's go set up the motion cameras with our Streeter mousetrap from 1897 and see if we can catch a mouse. Well, as you could see from the trail camera footage, we caught a mouse last night, but that was actually the third night I set up this trap. For the first two nights at different locations, pack rats showed up. They are notorious for stealing things, especially mouse traps. So I'm glad we have the box here to keep our valuable traps safe. Now I don't want the mouse we caught to go to waste, so I'm going to feed it to wild animals. Let's go set up the motion cameras and see what comes along and enjoys a mouse snack. Well, it was a beautiful bobcat that found the mouse we caught with the Streeter mousetrap from 1897. Overall, it's a great mousetrap design, has a very sensitive trigger, and a powerful spring. I love mousetraps from the 1800s. I have a huge collection of mousetraps with over 2,000 different ones. And this is pretty special. I'll put it on the shelf and retire it. It's pretty impressive that it can still catch mice after 130 years old. On this channel, I test out every mouse and rat trap I can get my hands on. If you haven't subscribed, please consider clicking that button. I've posted over 700 videos on YouTube, and currently I'm posting new videos every Monday and Friday. So if you want to see the best videos on how to catch mice, rats, squirrels, chipmunks, moles, voles, and gophers, stay tuned.